All right, y'all, starting off the video, um, I want to tell y'all about our 3D shoot we're going to be having the end of August. Um, you can go to our website, go to the 3D link in the website, or there's actually a link in the description, takes you straight to it, tells you when uh, it's going to be, dates, and kind of a little overview of what all we're going to be doing, what we're going to be having. We got a ton of giveaways uh, that we're going to be giving out to y'all door prizes and all different kinds of stuff so really hope a lot of y'all can come and we can meet y'all we'll be there and uh just have a fun day shooting and uh and just having a big time so today i want to talk about my release releases in general but why i use this particular release for the way i hunt um you know and growing up you know, this is probably the release that 95% of the people bow hunting started off using, a wrist strap. Um, and I started off using it. I mean, I shot it great. You know, I liked it. It was always it was always nice that it was right there on my wrist all the time when I was hunting. You know, if I was walking through the woods or seeing something or whatever, you know, I didn't have to really look for it. It was just right there. I could put air on my bow, clip it on, draw back, you know, and shoot. It was always right there. Um, I could always strap it to my bow, you know, a lot of, a lot of good, there's really nothing a whole lot bad about a wrist strap release. Now you could get in the technical stuff about getting target panic and all that, but if you shoot it well, it doesn't really matter if you can make a clean kill with it, you know, that's all that really matters. Um, but there's a reason why I don't use a wrist strap. Um, Filming for me, you know, that's a big part of what I do now. It's pretty much all I do when I'm hunting. Um, and we got the camera arms when we're in a tree. We got fluid heads that's got the handle on it that our camera mounts to that, that swivels on the camera arm. Or even on a tripod, like the camera right now is sitting on a tripod with fluid head. And uh, that fluid head has a handle where we can control and move the camera around. So if I'm, say, in a tree or even on the ground or whatever, and... Uh, I have this wrist strap on and you know pretty much all as far as I know all the heads of these wrist straps um, the trigger mechanism is metal so I got plastic and I got metal um, parts on my camera arm and my fluid head so if I'm trying to video a deer and it's coming in and I got this you know wrist strap just dangling and uh, trigger right here is you know hitting clinging around you know I, I'm, I'm usually trying to have to hold it to keep it quiet and then okay a deer's coming coming through a hole over here so i get the camera around on it well then i gotta clip my release onto my d loop draw back and shoot or say the deer walks through the hole before i get my release on because it can be aggravating put putting this on a d loop you know when you're nervous and excited and everything's in a rush you, you can have a hard time getting it clipped on so Say the deer, say you did draw back and the deer walked through a hole on me and I got to let down, I got to take the release off, I got to get back on the camera arm, move it back around, get another spot, try to clip it back on, draw back and shoot. It's a headache when filming. So, that is the main reason right there why I do not shoot a wrist strap. Um, just for that main reason. What I shoot, and you know, there's a bunch of different styles of releases. This is pretty much the same same problem with a hinge this is a hinge same problem as a wrist strap is you can't just have it hanging on your bow you gotta you usually you know some come with a, a string where you can have it on a, a wrist strap where it's dangling and then you gotta get your little hook over hook it on your d loop draw back shoot and all that and then dealing with a camera it could be clinging around banging around making noise so that's why those two releases are out for me when it comes to videoing and there's a bunch of different styles of button releases, uh, thumb button releases, you call it, a lot of, a lot of different names for them. Um, this is the one that I hunt with. This is a knock on archery, knock to it release. And there's a few reasons why I like this release over, say, this Ultra View here. Um, I shoot them both. This is kind of my target setup more. Um, I, I really like this for hunting. I've shot it for five years now. I've made some absolute long shots, uh, and it's just it's been a good lucky release for me. I have modified it a little bit, as you can see on the uh, 
on the button right there, I put like tread tape, sort of. Um, like we put on steps or something when you're walking into a house or you, it's just got a real, it's got a real tough texture to it. But I got that on the button part. And then on the inside finger part, right here and right here, I put a bow more grip tape. And I run, I run that on my grips on my bows and everything else. But that, that just gives me a little extra uh, something to grip. If say I have gloves on and they're slick gloves and I pull back and it, it slides and kind of gets out of, gets me out of my consistent uh, finger placement where I always grab at. And uh, say like right now, it's hot, it's 90 something degrees out. I get outside here in the summer, I'm sweating, every, my hands are sweaty, I grab it and draw back. It wants to start slipping on me. But with that grip tape in there, I never have to worry about it, whether I'm shooting gloves or my hands are sweaty or whatever. Um, I just grab it. It always stays where it's supposed to be and I shoot. Uh, but the reason I like these or these styles uh, over everything else is when I get in a tree, you know, I always keep this, this in my uh, bino harness. Got a zipper right in front. I always keep it in there. I never leave my bino harness, so I always got um, my release in it. And if it's not in there, it's a problem. I've either lost it or set it down somewhere. And I, not, but I always, when I put my bino harness on, I always tap the front of it just to make sure I feel my release in there. It's easy to feel in there, so I know I got it. Um, but what I like about this is when I get in a tree, I get everything set up. I take this, I clip it on my D loop on my bow, set my bow up, and it's always right there. So if a deer's coming in, I can be over here free handed, nothing, nothing to make noise on this wrist or nothing. I can video, video him coming in, coming through, getting a hole if he's walking to it, and all I gotta do is let go of the camera, reach up here, grab this, draw back, and shoot. Or if I have the situation where I have to let down, I can just let down, let go of the release. It'll still be hanging right there on my D-loop, grab the camera, move it around, grab the release again, draw back, and shoot. Um, that is the main reason why I like thumb button releases that I can clip on to my bow. That way it's always there, especially with filming. I don't have to worry about noise or anything like that. Clipping my release on my D-loop with a deer coming in, and it's just a headache. Um, but a couple, little reasons why I like this release over pretty much any other thumb release out there is you can take this ultra view right here and you know this is a booming booming uh, product right now ultra view in general with sights releases everything um, I think this is I don't know they've been going three or four years now but you can get this in a two finger I like a two finger for hunting and the reason why is I can shoot out in the yard all summer long. I can be consistent, perfect, level ground, plat I mean just consistent, boom, boom, boom. With a two finger, you have less uh, torque and I guess what I'm trying to say is you're evened out. You got two fingers on each side of your D loop so your, your tension is evened out. So when you pull back, you're pulling an even amount of pressure on both sides of your D-loop, which evens out your tension all throughout the bow. So it minimizes torque and all kind of technical archery stuff that I don't know. Um, if you shoot a multi-finger thumb release, and I have seen this happen. I've seen a few shots. I was like, I wonder if, I wonder if that was just a, an over pull one way or another. Just like I can take this four finger right here, and mind you, I can I can make it a two finger, um, but I'm gonna tell you a reason why I don't like this, even with being two fingers over my knock to it. But uh, first, I'm gonna tell you why I don't like it being a four finger or a multi finger in general, is I have one finger on this side of where your D loop is gonna be connected, and then I have three on this side, so I can easily pull back. And say a deer's coming in, I get excited, I don't think about it. It's not like sitting out in the yard and sitting there holding a pin, squeeze, 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 it goes off. You can stay consistent when you practice in the summer. If a deer's coming in and I'm excited, I pull back, you know, I'm worried about getting a shot off or something like that. And you can sometimes forget about maybe pulling too hard or one way or not having your hand tilted. Well, if you got three fingers pulling against one finger, uh, your pressure your tension isn't evened out 
from your D loop. So I could draw back and I could pull too far this way or, you know, twist it out too far or something like that. But with two fingers, you have less possibility of pulling too much one way or another because you have less fingers against your uh, index finger. So that's why I like two finger release. And this is really the only one I found that was only two fingers. Um, and it's, man, it, it sets really good. I can set the thumb button where it, it goes off really crisp for me. Um, and I've just I made some really good shots with it. But the reason why I choose this two finger over this, and like I say, you can make this a two finger, is because of how long uh, this part is where it hooks to your D loop opposed to this. So when I grab this, you see how much you see how much is above my knuckles here. Uh, that's a good half inch up to where this little keeper is that hooks on your D loop. But this one, my knuckles are literally almost even with where this right here clips onto your D loop. So it's shorter and it just, it pulls better and it feels better. And I like something as close to my fingers as I can get it uh, with it being hooked, whether it's a wrist strap, if, I'm shoot, if I do shoot a wrist strap, which like I say, I don't hardly do anymore. I like it as short as I can get it um, just cause I like to get way in on it and shoot. But uh, I just like that being close and I, I don't really have a reason why. I just like it being really close to my fingers, having that D loop close. And you do get a little bit extra draw length, which that really don't matter. Um, like I say, a half inch. Uh, you could play with it. You could get a shorter loop. You could probably gain an inch out of your draw length opposed to say a, a wrist strap or even this one being having this longer neck on it. Um, you know, that's kind of a not even really need to or worry about problem but it just for me that's the reason i like this over that one i also like that this is a uh, fully enclosed index finger release so if i do say walking in somewhere and i see a deer i can get it out and i can let it go and i can just have it like on this finger um so i can like be holding it you know if i don't have it clipped on my bow i could just get it out hold it I could have it on my finger, I could look, you know, and I'm still just holding it right here. I ain't got to worry about, you know, dropping it. This one, being that it's open, you know, I can't do that. If I do, it's just going to, it's either going to hang up or it's going to fall. Um, it just, I don't like it for hunting. Like I say, I do shoot this tournaments um, just because I feel like I hold it better uh, when I'm needing to really shoot a little small spot. But for hunting, this here just makes the most sense to me uh, and how I hunt with filming and all that. Um, I just really like this one. So, you know, I've had a bunch of people ask, ask me this question the last, I don't know, two or three months. Um, people have been messaging me on Facebook at the shows. They're coming up to me and asking me about the release or what release I use and why I use that release. So I just wanted to kind of Throw a little video together here for y'all and tell y'all my reasons. Um, some of it's just personal preference. It's just uh, it's just what I choose to use. So I appreciate y'all watching this video. Um, hopefully that answers some of y'all's questions. If y'all want to see more of this type of stuff later on this year, uh, drop it in the comments below or drop in the comments below anything y'all would like to see me do or me or Jeremy, either one do. Um, don't forget to check out the website, doityourselfhunter.com, get you some hats, shirts, hoodies, whatever. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up. I appreciate y'all watching, and we will see y'all next time.